everybody, it's Adrienne from WDW Bound and I'm here today with a person that I'm sure you're familiar with if you've watched any of our previous vlogs, uh, my husband Christopher. And we thought today that um, a lot of people are at the beginning of the year starting to think about planning their trips to Walt Disney World for, you know, 2020. And one of the questions that we get a lot is what are you allowed to take into the parks with you? And what is like what's the best way to do that so we've been we've been doing this we've been avid park goers I guess for like the last 10 years or so yeah. right ever since I was pregnant with our first and uh, we started out I remember you remember those trips like that first trip that we took when I was pregnant and you were carrying like a full-on full-size backpack. Full backpack with diapers wipes bottles and everything like, in it even before even before I had Melanie, like when I was pregnant with her, you were carrying on a full-on backpack. Yeah. Well, at the time also, you had a big DSLR camera, right. and we had a lot of other things that we were carrying around. Actual cam, like Sony camcorders and things like that. <laughs> right. So, <laughs> ten years ago. Ten years before, ago. Before, before I filmed, yeah. like, for good, and you could record things on them. Yeah, so we were, like, carrying, I remember, like, point-and-shoot cameras. We had those. I remember sneaking up and pulling it, like, out of the back of the backpack right. while we were walking and stuff. So, uh, yeah, so we went through like the big full size backpacks. I remember after our daughter was born, we had a diaper bag and another bag that I carried around. It was like a purse that I'd fashioned into a camera bag because yeah. uh, I was really into carrying in my D DSLR at the time. And then we went from that to like just an over the shoulder bag. I think I have pictures of me wearing like this big pink, just like purse looking yes. thing. I that. Yeah. I refuse to carry that. <laughs> and then we finally discovered what I think is the perfect park bag. Right. Do you think it's the perfect bag? I don't park like bag? it. Yeah. All right. So we'll start there. What is the bag that we take into the parks? So this is it. This is a sling back bag from 31 and the little. That, actual zipper thing. That broke, broke so we still let off one oh. of your wallets. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but that shows you how long we've been using it. Um, we really like this bag for a couple of different reasons. For one, it is like an across the back bag. A cross body bag. Right. So it distributes the weight a little bit more evenly across than like when I was just carrying the shoulder bag because that hurt a lot. Um, <laughs> that's when I started to know I was starting to get old because I was like, crap, that, that hurts the next day. Um, so this one distributes the weight really, really well. I also, we love the outer pockets. It has a mesh pocket on each side that are really great for carrying like water bottles and any other little things that you need to kind of put in the side. And then the two outer pockets and then the one big zipper inner pocket. The only thing that I don't like about this bag is that it's not weatherproof or waterproof um, because it has gotten soaking wet um, when we've been caught in like rain showers and stuff down there, which happen frequently if you visit Florida um, during the summer months and the like early fall months especially. But so it's not weatherproof and I've tried sling back bags or crossbody bags that were waterproof, but I didn't like them. And well. we had one before that that we just, it was an upgraded version of that that was waterproof yeah. and it would, it was it comfortable and wanted right. to flop and flip every which way and it just wasn't comfortable. Yeah, so it didn't. It kind didn't. of swivel, I think on one end and it was, it would, the actual strap would twist. And yeah, so it just didn't work. No. It just didn't work. So we went back to the tried and true. Um, so what do we take into the parks? When the kids were real little, of course, we had like diapers, wipes, and like a change of clothes <laughs> because especially Zachary, when he was potty training, it was touch and go there a lot. <laughs> so um, we had to take a lot of stuff, but it all fit in here. It was really, really great. Um, and Disney, for those of you guys that don't know, Disney will let you bring in your own snacks. It will let you bring in your own waters, drinks. Basically, the only thing that is banned are weapons of any sort, obviously. Which we soon got, had a pocket knife the day when we got off the boat. Right. I still don't know what happened to it. I don't know if they really, confiscated really it or it. I mean, maybe he could go pick it back up later. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know how that works. We've never Many years that. ago, I had my pocket knife for me and didn't think nothing about it. <laughs> that was 10, 12 years ago. That was back before they did the like... Actual uh, searches, yeah. Well, yeah. What's it called? 
a random security charge? Where you have to go metal detector. Oh, that was the word I was looking for. Um, yeah, so that was back before like metal detectors and stuff, and so they probably just didn't notice, which tells you how much Disney has upped their security over the past few years. Um, but yeah, so weapons obviously are not okay, and alcohol. You can't take your own alcohol into any of the parks, even the parks that serve alcohol, you can't bring your own. But anything else pretty much is fine. I haven't seen them take anything out of anybody's bag any of the times that we've been through the bag checks, which is a lot. All right, so let's get down into what we take into ours personally. Didn't you buy Alyssa a bag for, for, I did. for her honeymoon? Yeah. That's what I thought. Yeah, because my sister, y'all know Alyssa from uh, Alyssa WDW Bound. She uh, frequents the parks with us a lot, and she was getting married, and they were doing their own Disney moon. And uh, so she needed her own park bag, so I bought her a purple sling bag bag, because purple's her favorite color. Had to. All right, so in the first top little pocket, and literally this is, we just came back from the parks like two weeks ago, so I haven't unpacked anything except for I took out like the 800 magic things <laughs> we either purchased or brought with us. There are still a few in here, and we'll go through those in a second, but all right, so in this top little bag, I have an extra hair tie, because you never know when yours is going to break, or I wear my hair down in the parks a lot, and then I get too hot and it needs to go up, so I have an extra hair tie. I have chapstick, because you always need chapstick. And we have some medicine. Uh, this is Azo, uh, my daughter gets DMI, but she gets bladder infections a bit. So um, those are for her, just in case she starts to feel uncomfortable when she's in the parks. So that's what we keep in the top bag. Which we her to put some Tylenol, Heading medicine. Yeah. I think we did have some in there, but we've we probably taken it out or used it yeah. while we were down there. And usually most people eat horrible while we're there, so. <laughs> Wouldn't hurt for Pepto in there either. Right. So anything that you, and the baby care centers and the first aid centers carry those types of things. So you'll be able to get those from the park if you need to. But if you're say all the way across the park and you're starting to get a headache and you just don't feel like traipsing all the way back to the front of the park, say in Magic Kingdom, it's near uh, Casey's. So it's a pretty long walk, say if you're all the way in front of your land or in the back of Fantasy Land or something like that. Or if you're in a restaurant that happens. Which this last trip, Zachary had a boo boo and you had to run him. Because I was out of band aids right. in there. So band aids, another kind of thing just to keep on hand are really, really helpful. Yeah. So first aid kind of stuff is what we keep up in the top pocket. The bottom pocket, oh hey, has the band aids from that from the first aid center. So <laughs> transfers the back up to the front. Uh, well, they're supposed to be. Where they're supposed to be. And down here we have a power pack for our phones and the cord. So like, so we can charge our phones while we're in the parks. They do have the fuel rod things that you can trade out. It's 30 bucks to start and then it's free for now. They've tried to change it in the past, but it's free to exchange the fuel rods in the parks currently. Um, but I just picked this one up from Five Below. It was like five bucks. So, yeah. you know, why not just go ahead and have that with you? And then the only other thing I have in here currently, because we're going through it, are our actual hard tickets from Nikki's Very Merry, yeah, Very Merry Christmas yeah. Party um, that got rained out. So Disney did this wonderful thing for the first time, I think, on that trip right. where it got rained out. They had the first parade couldn't happen. So they automatically turned those hard tickets into one day park tickets. So I have the little info card that they gave right. you as you were leaving, yeah. them, right? So. That was really nice, Disney. We appreciate that because and we get to use that as an actual hard ticket letter to another just, special just, event. Yeah. If we want to trade it into that, we may or, have to call and get special permission. Or is it like you can also use it for just a random day that we just happen to be there? Right. Right. So like it would be a just a regular hard, not hard ticket, but like a one day pass yeah. into one of the parks, which we may use at some point in the future. Who knows? We don't currently have anything in the mesh pockets because like I said usually that's for a water bottle or something like that um and the inside is a mess so I'm sorry <laughs> we're gonna go through it um like I said we tend to take a lot of magic bands let's see one that one you're saying and I take a lot out <laughs> I really have two, two three four um, that might be it, but I took out probably 10. 
and I'm not exaggerating at all. Um, we take extras because they might get lost. The they Zachary lost his on this trip. Exactly. So we have to get him another one. Our youngest lost his. Um, thankfully not in a park, but, uh, we but we're at, uh, Wilderness Lodge. Right, we're at yeah. somebody there. Mm -hmm. Probably got thrown away. Probably. So we don't know where it went, but he is, he doesn't like wearing a magic band at all. So he tends to, he's constantly asking us, can we take it off, can I take it off, can I take it off? And we tell him no, and he does it anyway. And so it gets lost. So we always bring extras just in case. Um, and also I'm kind of a weirdo and I like to match magic bands to what I'm wearing <laughs> or the events that we're going to. Um, so I had uh, magic bands specifically for the Very Merry Christmas Party. So I ordered us all red and green ones. And I still wore my haunted mansion one. You did, I know, but I, I had them. And I decorated them with um, tattoos. Yeah. That one's got some yeah, stuff see, on it. Like that one has some stuff. And that one says Merry Christmas. So we have, we always have those. And then we bought some on this trip too. And so look at Baby Yoda. I don't know if you can see, but I love Baby Yoda Magic Band. It's so cute. Um, so we bought several and just to kind of keep everything contained when we were packing up to leave, I just put them all in this park bag so that I would know where they were when we got home. So like I said, I've already unpacked a lot. I also have uh, the Very Merry Christmas Party pamphlet in here that you know, also good night. that it has a park map on the back too. Especially yeah. if you're one of the first timers going, you don't know where you're going to go, how to get from one place to the other. That definitely helps. And we don't really use park maps anymore because we kind of know where we're right. going. But the this in particular was helpful knowing where the specialty foods were and where you could kind of get your cookies and milk and those sorts of things. So we wanted to have this and it just ended up staying in the park bag too. In addition to that, because we were at the Very Merry Christmas party, we have our little hard wristbands in here. Oh, hey, that's from the after hours event from a few months ago. <laughs> Should probably clean this out at some point. <laughs> this is gonna turn into an exercise of cleaning and organizing the park bag. Uh, we have tissues because it's not a kid's. Disgusting. Or well you hurt feelings, they start crying. Right, you know, happens. And some moist wipes in case somebody gets dirty. Uh, as delicious as Mickey bar Premium Bars are, they're very messy, especially in the hands of a six year old. <laughs> <laughs> so we keep these in there to kind of wash his hands and keep them as clean as you can in a six year old. And then our kids are wimps. And don't worry, we're not saying anything behind their backs. We say it to their face. <laughs> so they don't like fireworks. They don't like loud noises. They don't like parades. So head Yep. Yeah. That kind of keeps that contained so that we can enjoy the fireworks and uh, they can preserve their hearing. And then, no kidding. One, two, three, four, <laughs> five ponchos. <laughs> Again, it rains. And, and this is negative too because <laughs> me and Melanie had used one or used two of them at that Christmas right. party. So we keep tons. I just go to the dollar store. Yeah, and a lot cheaper than up. the ones they're going to sell you. Yes. There. Ponchos at Disney, they may last longer, but they're going to cost you $30 at least. And they're soaking wet whenever you maybe get back to your resort. Most people are not going to hang them up to dry. They're going to throw them in the trash. Yeah. We gave ours away. You remember? Yeah, a couple bought, years ago. We yeah, did. a few years ago we bought some and we just knew we weren't going to take them home. We wouldn't reuse them, so we just gave them away. So some people in the parks. All right, almost done. Also, because of rain, we have phone case protectors. Mm -hmm. Just in case, we need to put these up somewhere, put our phones in there so that they don't get wet or hurt. So that's always useful to have. You can take your phone on uh, Cali River Rapids or... Right, that too, yeah. duh. Uh, yeah, Splash Mountain. Right. You can put your phone in there. You can record while you're on those wet rides and, um, and you don't have to worry about your phone getting hurt. A lot of phones, like even the ones we have now, they're all water resistant to a certain point. Right. But people still don't get their phone wet. Right. And that was like a dollar or two at Walmart. Yeah, exactly. So something easy, it stores well and fast, so it's not a big deal. All right, more chapstick because we just are weird like that. And this was a, an addition in 
this most recent trip, I had a friend who really, really, really wanted some character autographs, so she sent me with a little notebook so that if we met characters. And we didn't meet a single one. Not one. Um, and we haven't gone over the trip report from December yet, but I got really sick for over half of it, so I didn't leave the room for five days, and uh, except for maybe an hour or two. And uh, so we ended up not being able to do most of the things that we had planned. So sorry, Megan, I wasn't able to get any of your character uh, autographs. And then something that the last thing I'm going to mention that was not in here because we didn't plan on getting more character autographs, but it's always very helpful to have in here are, these are just some little pictures that I printed out with different characters and their names on them, along with a Sharpie in the bag. Um, I do always recommend if you're gonna get a character, if you're planning on getting character autographs to have your own Sharpie. We didn't one time, and the character attendants were wonderful yeah. about having one and letting us borrow one, but it's kind of a pain to have to ask. And, um, so we always make sure to carry one now. Um, and we have just one of the regular Sharpies, but I typically suggest that you get one of the clickable ones uh, because- the, Like stitch, it was hard right? for me to pull the cap off. Yes, exactly. That's what I was gonna say. Like the, the non-face characters, sometimes if they have, you know, very furry, bulky costumes. Pluto, Chip, Dale. Right, they yeah. couldn't get the top off. So we also have really funny pictures of poor Stitch miming, trying to get us to take the top of the Sharpie off. Um, and then the other thing I don't have in here currently is snacks, but we usually grab some goldfish and some juice boxes or um, like Capri Suns or something like that, just that we can kind of throw with the kids if they're in line so that they can, because um, they say they're hungry all the time, they're kids. So, <laughs> and you know, if you're in the middle of a three hour wait, not that we do three hour waits for much of anything these days, but. Um, they're hungry every 30 minutes. It's true. <laughs> so that's a. Um, can you sit them down in front of a meal and then they're not. And then they're suddenly they're done. not hungry. Um, they don't want the $40 plate that you can buy them. <laughs> they like the $2 goldfish. Exactly. So, um, but goldfish are good things to keep in there. You know, just kind of easy snacks, whatever your kids like. Or whatever you like, because you might get hungry and not want to spend 7 or $8 on a snack in the parks either. Um, not me. If I'm a Disney, I don't eat Disney food personally. Right. But, yeah. Um, Mickey-shaped goldfish. mickey -shaped. I'm trying to think. I don't think there's anything else that we've taken out that we used to keep in. No. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Most of it. But I will mention this too. If you are the type of Disney guest that we have turned into, where you take breaks in the middle of the day, so let's say you get there at park opening, you're there for two, three, four hours maybe, and then you leave for a nap or just a break because it's hot, especially when you go in the summer and then come back to the parks in the evening. We've recently gone to not taking a park bag at all. It's just, it's faster. The line for bag check is so full of people. And people, like if you're gonna go through the bag check and you have your bag, please go ahead and have everything unzipped and ready so that the, the cast member security officers can go through quickly. Um, and you know, if you have a stroller, same thing, they've gotta look under, get everything ready. Um, and we've just become really, really jealous of the time that we have when we're there because we take so many trips that are just two or three days right. and we wanna maximize our park time as much as we can. And so getting, waiting in that line is just another line to wait into. So we tend to just go bagless. I bought a um, phone case that I can keep a little bit of money in and like uh, our annual pass stays in there and a band-aid I think I actually have in that one. <laughs> um, like band-aid and some antibiotic ointment I think and uh, like my ID and that sort of thing. Like just a couple of cards and a little bit of cash. One and thing that you didn't mention which is pretty good especially if you're going down in the summer is putting uh, like some sunblock. Oh, right. Because I, I didn't have that for a December trip, yeah. but like a little mini spray can of sunscreen. sunscreen yeah. um, we do do that when we go during the summer months because um, those, little, those kids rose pretty quick. They do. They do. Especially like in parts like Animal Kingdom and Epcot where there's not a ton of shade. Um, you're just exposed to the sun constantly. So you're right. That is something that we forgot. And if you have little ones in the strollers and stuff, you know, cover them with sunscreen. Yeah. They, they can't get out of it because they're pushing on the stroller. 
Right. Exactly. Oh, the sunshade. We bought a big sunshade, I think, when the kids were in strollers, too, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, and they fall sure. take, they kicked them off. Yeah, because then you can't see. So, but we try. We try. Um, but yeah, so we tend to go bagless. There is an area to get into the park that says guests without bags. We just breeze right through. Sometimes they call you over to go through the metal detector anyway, but usually. Random screen search. Right. <laughs> uh, but we've just found that it's a lot faster and we don't need all of the things that we bring. If we're going to get wet, we're going to get wet. Uh, you know, the power pack, if we're leaving in the middle of the day, then we're going to charge our phones when we get back to the room anyway. Um, I feel like battery life on cell phones has increased definitely increased so much. Even, I mean, I'm taking pictures and videos the whole time we're there, basically. And, and yeah, the phone battery still stays pretty good. And, like, when it comes to snacks and drinks, again, I'm going to be eating busy food if I'm there. Um, but if it's just for a couple of hours, we more than likely have a meal planned while we're there. If we're thirsty, we'll go to a counter service and get a free cup of water or something to drink, you know, whatever. Um, so we've just found that and as the more trips that we've gone on, the less stuff we realize we need. Right. And, you know, you're on a ride and where's the bag going to go? What am I going to do with the bag? It has to sit at your feet or, you know, it's just kind of awkward. Like when you're on Rock and Roller Coaster, I'm always terrified that something's going to fly out right. when you do the inversion. So a lot of time, even with the bag, we just keep your car key or something like that in there. Right. And I get now, I've got your little carabiner mm -hmm. and I clip it on my belt loop with right. the key fob. There's yeah. no sense in taking a big old wad of keys. So put the key fob on it, clip it on your belt loop and you don't have to worry about it. So there's a lot of good stuff that we keep in our park bag and we do take it with us sometimes. I'm not saying yeah. we always go park bagless. Like when we went to the Christmas party, it was definitely helpful. Yeah, because the rain ponchos were in right. there. The, the headphones, we used those not at the Christmas party, but at the Halloween party mm -hmm. uh, a few months prior. And it's just, uh, so there are good things and we do take it with us sometimes, but it's just, we just found it's not always necessary. Mm -hmm. And so I challenge you to try it one time. Mm -hmm. If you're going to go in for just a couple hours, just try it. How much was the bag when you bought it? The bag itself, it's next one closer. I want to say it's close to 50. You should try to put a link in the description. Well, maybe I'll do, do that. that. Thank you, sir. Um, but yeah, so we challenge you. Try, try it without a bag sometime. And if you don't want to like it, that's fine. Go back and grab your bag. Yeah, we we found that we like it. Yeah. Just being unencumbered, and I feel like it's just easier. Yeah. But uh, like I said, we do use it sometimes, obviously. And now she has a muscle now. <laughs> I do. I'm gonna organize the park bag now. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna do that. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate it. We hope that if you do like what you just saw, that you'll like the video and subscribe to our channel. And as always, we'll see y'all next time. Bye. Bye.